She's secured the package. Uh oh. Hello. I have the baby. Hello. Look at this happy family. Just the three of us. Yes, yeah, very nice. Just the three of us. So, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more Super Cooper Sunday. Today is going to be all about our little black void here. So, basically, what happened is this is at this point probably six to eight months ago. Yeah. We went on a four night trip. And we set up a bunch of cameras and we recorded what she did in the house alone. It was, I think, the first time she really kind of had the house alone. First time we were away for a while. The boys weren't there. She had no distractions, no humans, no anything. Like we, we set up an automatic feeder and water bowl and things like that. Obviously, cats can stay alone for weeks yeah. at a time if they need to. But um, yeah, so it was four nights. Why are you so cranky for the people? Do you want to tell them about your four nights? Because there's a lot of interesting stuff that happened. You guys won't believe everything that happened during these four nights. So let's hop into it. So everything starts pretty normal. We're heading out. She's watching us from the stairs and Chelsea even tries to, you know, personally say goodbye and she, she bites her. Bye, sweet baby baby. No, get out. Come on, Bella. Come on, Bella. Ow! I respect that you still try. I... I I don't know why she does that to me. I'm sad. I'm going to miss her. And she's like, no, I nope. don't know. Keep keep in mind, again, this was filmed like six to eight months ago. So it's pre-house uh, renovation. And we have said that she's since gotten a lot more lovey to other people that aren't me. Yes. So we hope that trend continues. So anyway, after we leave, we realized we forgot the formal wear for the event that we were going to. So you'll see her chase Trev back up the stairs. And then once we leave and she's like, okay, they're definitely gone. Then she has to have a bath, of course, because she's filthy. After her bath, she goes to the office and clocks in. So I have this racing simulator chair. It's one of her favorite places in the house. And she spends 90% of her time there. She sleeps there. She likes being in the office with me, that sort of thing. So in this video, this is where she spends 90% of the time and the other 10% get pretty ratchet as you guys are going to see. <laughs> so something that's really cool about these cameras is they actually have night vision. So even when the whole house is dark, we can see everything that she's doing. It's so sick. So she has dinner around 8.30 and then she goes over and she goes in Coda's kennel, which she's she's never done. Like she's fully in the kennel. I don't know if she's missing him, missing the smell of him. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've never seen this before. And she was in there for a while. She was in there for like 20, 30 minutes. Only thing that pulled her away is our neighbor, Rami. Thank you, Rami, coming over and picking up our packages. So I... I I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that either. But then after she gets distracted, she starts one of many, we'll call them sweeps of the house. Security sweeps. Yeah, she just goes like into the living room, looks around, does a little sweep, goes through the front door, checks it, has a little roll, and then she decides to get in the boy's toy box, which Again, not something sh we've seen her do. <laughs> no, is it like is it like a little sister thing? Like Cooper's not here. Let me mess with his Ma stuff. That might be. Let me like go in his room <laughs> yeah. and you know. I'm gonna make all this stuff smell like me. Now, after all that, we have our first major shock of this weekend. She's over in the living room playing with her ball tower. It's her favorite toy. We're gonna talk about this thing later because <laughs> she gets weird about that too. But um, yeah, she's she's playing. She's hanging out. She's doing her thing. She's acting a little sketchy, kind of looking around, like, you know, maybe up to no good. She jumps on the couch, which is normal. She's allowed on the couch. Yeah. There's no problem with that. But if we wait for it, she's thinking about it. She's slinking around. You can tell she, she knows she's up to no good. Yeah. She jumps over to our bar. And she is not a counter cat. She doesn't get on any of our counters. She doesn't hang around the kitchen. Like, she does not do this. I mean, she was up there for a while, so we're going to skip ahead here in a second. It, she was up walking around, waltzing around, doing her thing, you know, just kind of checking oh everything out. I've never, ever seen her up on the bar before. And no. she, she knows we would get after her. She'll, sometimes the further she'll go is she'll jump in like bar stools and yeah. we'll get after her and be like, hey, no, get down. And she knows she's not yeah. supposed to be there. So I, I guess this is what happens when we're out. As soon as she gets off the bar, it's like nothing happened. Immediately back to the ball tower. Plays to around play it for a little bit, like, I'm cool, I'm casual. And then around 1.15 in the morning, she decides to have a snack. 
and then she gets into kind of a routine. So it was weird. We watched through all this footage to try to pick out the good stuff. When we're home, she sleeps fully through the night. Like she's a great cat. We yeah. hear horror stories of cats that have like 3 a.m. zoomies and stuff. She doesn't do that. She sleeps all night long. She's an angel. This weekend, she, I mean, she was in the office, out of the office, up the stairs, down the stairs, playing with the ball tower, watching out the front door. And she would just do that on repeat all night long. She'd take little naps in between, but uh, a lot of her time was just spent in this rotation. She was either doing that or napping, which is interesting because that's not how yeah. she acts when we're home. And then there's this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> She's just rolling around the living room. She's so weird. <laughs> This is like four o'clock in the morning. At 9 a.m., she finally decides she's tired. She goes back to the office, has a six hour nap in her chair. <laughs> she works hard. And then immediately after her six hours, gets up, runs security at the front door. Front door looks good. We get a little of a uh, bean modeling oh, happening. Yeah. Look at this. She's yeah, flexing it over in the corner. Like, I feel like that was done on purpose. Wow. She, she knew yeah. exactly what she was doing. And then she goes back to the office. She does a full bath, the whole shebang, mm -hmm. and goes back to sleep until... She starts crying. I I'm letting you know now, this, this is the most heartbreaking footage I have ever seen. She stands in front of the camera for so long, it goes into night vision. And she's not like, she's not crying at anything. She's just walking around crying. Yeah. I, we would have been gone, what, 18 hours at this point? No, I think this is day two. Or may, maybe day two and a half. Just absolutely broke my heart. Like seeing that footage was the hardest thing to watch. And Aww. it's just sad because there's that quote that like, you know, pets are a part of your life, but to your pets, you're their whole life. For dogs, it makes sense. I never really thought about how much she would also miss us. You know what I mean? Cats oh. are a little bit less emotional. When like, they were, don't show emotion. When you were in here playing with your Oculus thing the other day, she cried for an hour until you could pause and I could let her in. She misses you. So then she watches out the front door again for a while, hopefully running security and not just waiting for us to get back. Although at this point, after seeing the crying, I'm not sure which one it is. She gets back up on the bar. So, I mean, I feel sad for her, but also stop being so naughty. <laughs> She's up there for 10 minutes and we're thinking maybe she got into something, some dust, some hair, something like that, because then she comes over to the living room and she coughs something up. She pukes. Pukes. Straight puke. I'm gonna tell myself that's why she was crying because it makes my heart feel better. <laughs> she pukes twice. She pukes yeah. in two different areas. She's so nonchalant about it. There's one it. on the rug and then one off the rug. Thank you for the, she jumps away from it. Thank you for the 50% accuracy there. But yeah, I, we weren't sure what it is. I, do you remember what it, was it a hair? It wasn't a hairball. No, Cats get hairballs and do like this all the time. It's not it. a big deal. She's also a really fast, really big bite eater. So she may have just you know, taking Snacked a huge bite hard. of food or something. She does that. Because there's no food on the bar and it's all sealed bottles. So I don't yeah. think she ate something bad. Maybe just got into some old dust or something. I'm not sure. She runs upstairs. She has another bath. There are probably 40 baths that took place. There were probably about 10 a day. Okay, if you puke, you take a bath as one does. Well, yeah, that's true. And she goes to sleep top of the stairs. She wakes up at 6 a.m. and now this is a real problem in our lives, guys. Look at her shadow on the Look door. Look at her. <laughs> she is trying to open the door to the garage and that is something she does quite frequently to the point where we think we might have to change the handles and we always have to lock the door. So there was one time, it was like two or three o'clock in the morning, we're dead asleep and the house alarm starts going off and there's different kinds of alarms and this one was like, hey, an exterior door has been opened. Yeah. We thought all the doors were locked. We were like, okay, some somebody's breaking in. Like, I'm I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to have a fight or whatever. And we end up going downstairs. I let Coda out. I'm like sweeping all the rooms and everything. Nobody there. Can't figure it out. The garage door, which is the one that had opened. I thought they had come in through. We look out in the garage. It's her. It's Bella. Just chilling. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she was chilling on like the hood of the Jeep or something like that. Yeah. She was freaked out too. So at, at least she got yeah. a scare. And then the other time. She also, we were at Universal Studios midday and we get calls from our neighbors that our alarms are going off and the cops are at our house because once again, she let herself in the garage. And just a couple days ago, I heard all of this weird sounds like somebody was trying to get in the house 
And I called Trevor down. I was like, I'm really spooked. And he opened the gym door and the cat was at the gym. (laughs) Guys, this is a call for help. She's abused. She's trying to get out. She's trying to call the police. She's trying to make a statement. Please listen, listen to her. No, I'm so kidding. So naughty. I, she just, I mean, the garages are like these forbidden places. Oh, we should do an episode where we take her out there and let her roam and just see, because it's a her... forbidden place. She's not allowed in there. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to change the doors because, I mean, we try to lock them consistently, yeah. but obviously occasionally you forget and she, Honestly, she doesn't. Honestly, we have three pets and two of them can open the doors. We should probably just invest in new handles. Yeah. Also, shout out to Cooper for being the only one not smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> looks looks don't come with brains sometimes. <laughs> so we think she's still tired from last night because today was a lazy day. I mean, we're talking naps, occasional snack, and like three baths in the chair. She was doing nothing. We thought this package delivery was going to be the only <laughs> highlight of today. And then it happened. A cockroach. I mean, we occasionally will get a cockroach in the house. It's not like it's a common thing, but he comes rolling by our food. Look at this. She gets up. She's like, oh, what is that? What is that? This is exciting. What? At, I think he's in the office at this point. Oh, she's hunting. Yeah. She's hunting. Oh, gosh. Just for the record, guys, we live in the South. She's She's got what? it. In her, look at this. What? Look at this. Look at that reaction time. She's a beast. <laughs> he was running oh, away at light drag, speed and she got drag. him. Now, my favorite part about this is that she's so proud. And you know, like you always hear stories of cats like, you know, catching something oh, and then, then giving it to their their humans. I think she was running around looking for someone to give it to. She's like parading him it's around. It's just hanging out of her mouth. She walked around the office, walked around the living room, walked around everything, just kept walking around showing it off and then I guess she was still hungry cuz she ended up going back and That's so gross. getting some food. So yeah, nice nice job, Bella. Um we never found the cockroach, so no. can only only assume what happened to him. Sorry, little buddy. She has a post-dinner bath and nap, and then she wakes up at about midnight, does another perimeter check, keeping the house safe. Has to question who would have the audacity to puke in her living room. Can't believe it. It was her. <laughs> And then she goes on to play with the front door rug. And she plays with the front door rug for six and a half hours. Yeah. Like literally until the sun comes up and she, she even gets stuck in it at one point. I don't know. I, I'm i grateful that it's something that she can't really destroy. It's pretty tough. It, it's honestly a pretty crappy front door rug, but she loves it, I guess. So we're, we're not going to get rid of it. I'm not sure what was in the cockroach, but she had unlimited energy at this point. She had a couple meals and a very small nap, but she pretty much zoomed <laughs> all day until midnight. Like she was just tearing black lightning is what we call it tearing around the house <laughs> the entire day i i don't know what was up with her it wasn't until about 1 30 in the morning that she found some zen also that is a coda tumbleweed that you see there <laughs> she eats about an hour after finally calming down and then she assumes her guard duty at the door but still the occasional zoom this was the day of the zooming now with zooming of course also comes naughtiness um this is another first at least that i've seen yeah. Into the, the chair, which I, I told you guys, sometimes she'll get in the, the chairs, the bar stools and things. Yeah. I don't care if she's on the chair, but I think it's gross. That their litter box feet are on the table. We don't really want her in the chair because they're like nice leather chairs and her claws will dig into them sometimes. Yeah. So we try to keep her off of them. But I guess when we're not home, the rules just don't, they don't matter because she knows she's a very, very smart cat. She, she has kn- never gotten caught getting on any counter, bathroom counter, kitchen counter, nothing. It makes me wonder what other, like we didn't have anything pointed over at the kitchen. I wonder if she got up on the kitchen or anything. Maybe if we do this again, we'll have to set up some more camera angles, but. She would not dream of doing this when we were home. She comes back to the living room, walks around. This is her like, oh yeah, nothing, nothing to see here. Yeah, like I whenever wasn't she naughty. feels awkward, she has to come play with her ball tower to like balance it out, <laughs> I guess. Now the thing about this time is she studies the ball tower. I don't know what this is, but we have four hours of footage of her just staring at it and walking around it and looking at it. It's her best friend and her arch nemesis. I, I, what was she trying to figure out? I'm (laughs) not sure. She, she literally, she, the sun rose before she ever touched the ball, like for four hours straight. She didn't touch the thing. She just looked at it. At this point, I don't even think she knew where she was or what she was doing. And then she's like, oh. Yeah, I got to patrol the house. So she patrols the house, she gets some breakfast, and then 
probably one of the biggest Zoom segments I've ever seen. It lasted 45 minutes. Now, normally in the morning, she wakes up with Trevor, Cooper sleeps with me, and then when Cooper gets up, she comes and kind of has to mess with him, and she does some Zooms and freaks him out for five to 10 minutes, and then we don't really see Zooms again until the afternoon. This was almost an hour. Wow. <laughs> Your little shuffle. <laughs> yeah, it's the tripping up of the back legs for me. After that, she goes back to the office. She takes a two-hour nap. She wakes up for this loveliness. Just having a little clean. Literally just wakes up for a bath and then takes another four-hour nap. At this point, it's pretty much 7 p.m. and we end up coming home. This last, oh. oh. Could it be? My dad? Could it be? She's so sweet. She is really sweet. And it was... I mean, for her, it was kind of nice because it was 7 p.m. So the the dog daycare, we couldn't, they were closed. We couldn't pick up Cooper and Coda till the next morning. Yeah. So she got a full night with us before they came back yeah. the next day. She always needs a lot of TLC. Even if you're gone for a couple hours, she needs you if to you really. Go, if you go to the grocery store, she needs a little TLC. Yeah, Not me, you. Bella. You. So there, you guys have it. That is what this little black cat gets up to while we're away for four nights. And no more getting on the counters, miss. No more getting on the counters, the tables, opening the garages. Could you look up for the people? I feel like you're being rude on purpose. Or being being bad in general. We'll hold her like this. Good girl. Do you have anything you want to say? Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love these. I love getting like a, a look into their lives without us. So yeah. if you guys want more videos like this, let us know. We really want to do one at night with her at night with Cooper, with us in the room, just to see what Cooper gets up to. And then I would love to try to get something where we set up cameras and we get all three of them and what they all do individually when we're gone, when they're all together, because yeah. we've never done that. So if any of that stuff sounds good, let us know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Of course, and we will see you guys next Sunday. Peace out. <laughs>